he almost got away with it. But uh, I mean, you know, I'm proud of my staff. They, 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 we, we worked really hard on it. DeWitt PD never gave up on the case. Even the EMTs were, you know, top shelf. Uh, the two that testified, it was funny, you know, in, in talking to them in private, they couldn't testify to this, but they're like, they're, they're giving each other the, the, you know, the look like, huh? This, this woman is in rigor. He's, he's saying he just found her a couple of minutes ago. She's, I can't even get her jaw open, you know? And, and, they, and they were like, but, you know, there's the, once the Emmy made the call, then of course, you, you know, you gotta call the dogs off. You, you can't keep searching, you could, could be, you know, evidence suppressed. And, you know, Bach exploited that pretty well. You know, oh, wow, you didn't find any blood downstairs. You didn't find any blood in the garage. Well, nobody looked, you know. But someday, I know, someday somebody's going to be jogging somewhere in Green Lakes and find a bunch of bloody sheets and a, and a pipe, and they're going to give me a call. <laughs> and that'll be it. It's the old quote, we see what we expect to see. Uh, and I think that's what happened here. I think... Uh, and I've had candid conversations with uh, Dr. Stoppaker about it. And I think that in hindsight, on this beautiful summer day when, you know, when he goes to this millionaire's house in DeWitt and he sees a grieving family and the poor woman lying there and we see what we expect to see. We don't expect, th this is, this man couldn't possibly have brutally beaten this woman to death. But his, his efforts to, he had to make some efforts to cover it up, and he only really he really only had one choice: the slip and fall in the shower, you know, exploit her vertigo, even though she hadn't been treated for vertigo for 15 years, but exploit the vertigo and say she was in the shower. And by the way, not unexpectedly, they make the surfaces of that shower slip proof, just so people don't get hurt. Uh, but if, but with all that said, I couldn't conceive of a not guilty verdict after six hours and not asking a single question. I, I just couldn't conceive of it. Obviously, they saw the strength of the case. When I, when, when I first showed the photo of her head to a lot of people, like lay people who, not, not, not necessarily lay people, I mean, just people that don't have any connection with the case, their first reaction is, that ain't no fucking slip and fall in the shower. It, it, it just isn't, and that's why you know, Mike Bodden and Barbara Wolf both said, I've never seen a head wound like that in a bathroom, never.